45%. 45% of New Zealand's greenhouse gas emissions are methane. This is incredibly alarming because methane has a global warming potential that is 28 times that of CO2. Now New Zealand, we're a pretty green country, there's no denying that. In fact, we're so green that even our bacteria are doing our dirty work for us. The aim of my thesis is to employ these bacteria to degrade methane and in the process create biodegradable plastics. Now when I say uh, bacteria, people often think of E. coli or food poisoning or washing your hands. Well, what if I told you there are other bacteria out there? Benign bacteria. Tiny molecular machines that can essentially degrade methane. Folks, I'd like to introduce you all to the methanotroph. Methano, meaning methane eating. Troph of relating to nutrients, methanotroph. So these guys eat methane for food, which is pretty incredible, right? But in this process, they release CO2 and other chemicals that they cannot process. These are the blue bubbles on the slide. So when they release CO2, this is a problem, it's still a potent greenhouse gas. And this is where the next bacteria of my research enters the field. The purple light using bacterium. Purple light using bacterium are incredibly versatile with what they can eat. In fact, they can eat all the things that the methanotroph releases, including the CO2. But they have another trick up their sleeve. Just as us humans have fat stores, so do the purple light using bacteria but instead of fat, they store a special kind of nutrients. And we can use this nutrients to make biodegradable plastics. So, coming full circle here on the slide, at the top, we have methane being released, a potent greenhouse gas. We filter this into a bioreactor, which is essentially a tank with bacteria and liquid. Our methanotroph friend lives here and eats the methane and release, releases those uh, blue bubbles. Our purple light using bacteria friend eats these and stores up that special kind of nutrient. We then harvest the purple light using bacteria for that bioplastic. This is really exciting because this biodegradable plastic has been used to create water bottles and it's been used in the medical industry to create sutures and staples, slings and surgical mesh. My research aims to better understand the interaction between these bacteria and figure out what the best conditions for growth are. Now, I'd like to leave you all with a quote from our climate activist friend, Greta Thunberg, in which she said, you're never too small to make a difference. How fitting a quote for our bacterial friends. Thank you all for listening.